Hi there, this is Mark McCrae and sometimes you will see somebody or they will work for you or you'll be associated with them and there's just nothing going on inside them. Now, if they're a member of your team, does that mean that you should fire them? No. I mean, not everybody on your team, especially if it's a larger team or you control multiple businesses, is going to be an A-grade player. They don't all wake up thinking, how can I move Mark McRae's business forward? The majority of people have other things going on in their life. So it's always your job to try and find A-grade players and you've always got to be aware, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you're doing, if you come across somebody who's really impressive, talk to them and try and recruit them into your team, even if you don't have a place for them because they'll basically create their own space if you get them on the right team. But sometimes you're going to have uh, people, let's say it's an employee, where they're never late, they're never sick, and they do the job well. You've got to categorize those people as though they are a great players because they're few and far between, especially now. I mean, the um, what I'm seeing coming through the workforce is people are not as energetic as they used to be. They uh, are quite happy to change jobs. They're not as motivated as they used to be. And that's not always a leadership thing. Sometimes there's just, it's not in there. So I, I always think of a quote that uh, Billy Conley had said once in an interview that I listened to, is some people have the life force and some people don't, right? And you, you will, you'll know people who have the life force because when you're in a room, they will stand out in a room. It's the, it's the person that other people are automatically attracted to. It's the person that people want to listen to. Those people have the life force. Nearly every single A-grade player that has been on any team that I've been in charge of, they have the life force. There's something happening when they walk in a room. There's something happening when they're on a phone call. They're moving the air. And other people don't, you know. So the, you're going to get that whole spectrum if you've got a team of people who are A-grade and people who are not that good. But people who are solid and do what's required, you should think of them as A-grade because they're very important to your organization. And the same kind of goes for um, whether it's you in your social life or are your relatives or anybody who's around you because if you're really on a mission you can't afford to be around negative people or anybody who's not behind you you can't afford to be second guessing yourself because somebody has a different opinion right you have to have everybody on the same path as you are and if you're finding people that are negative or finding people who are you have to give any kind of brain power to it they're the wrong people Right, so there are some people that there's just nothing going on, and when there it, when there when there is energy coming from them, it's negative energy, and you want to stay away from that. You don't want to defend it. You don't want to engage in it. You don't want to contract it. You only want to be around the people who are giving you positive energy and disregard the rest. I heard a very good uh, thing on the Ed Milet podcast. He describes how anything negative that comes into his head, he mentally puts in a shredder. And I think you have to do that. So I always think of whoever the American president is at the time, the most powerful man in the world, he's got infinitely more things happening in his life, but he doesn't have any more hours in the day than you do. And he has to, you know, half of that job has to be the ability to cope and prioritize things. So uh, don't worry if you're coming into contact with people who aren't like you. Move on. That's the only way you can do it. Hope you liked that. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and give us some feedback. I've been getting some really good feedback late lately, and I love to answer questions. Thanks for listening.